Hello, welcome to another stream. Making the game song ringer. This is like the 651st video or something like that. Feeling accomplished. I'm working on attacking my Trello list today. Um, I've really whittled this down and I'm almost ready to do a, an update. So there'll be an update released on Steam soon and this will all be part of the Steam or the, uh, the PlayStation and Xbox versions as well. Um, after it gets all approved. So that's going to be relatively soon. Um, so this is kind of a milestone here, getting some last minute bugs fixed up and thrown into this upcoming release. Um, I'm going to attack this first one here first. First things first, the first one on the list. Auto unsheathing after drinking a flask. Usually when you drink a flask, it's during a really critical moment, like clutch, like holy crap, I'm about to die. I better drink a flask right now. So um, the fact that it sheaths your sword um, and then doesn't automatically unsheath your sword is really bad. So let's get set up for this. It really doesn't matter too much where we are. I guess we can be there, it's fine. Need a flask. Got one. Cool. That'll work. Don't really need jib or anything. All right, cool. Now let me check. Let me just make sure that it is. I didn't actually fix this already. sword out and it does not automatically automatically unsheath the sword okay so that was that's confirmed let's go to where it actually uses the flask okay here's where it sheaths the sword and then schedules using the flask so the simplest thing to do is just Schedule something else. Certain delay. And then unsheath. Now, see, it's going to basically schedule this very function to be called which is going to call these very animations. Here it is, set animation flask. Clear bits overridable. So that's it. So right here, it will have scheduled the, it will have started the flask animation. And that's what this E get anonym duration is all about. Let's clamp it though, just to make sure. Clamp the anim duration. This is probably a Double. I need to verify that. Yeah. 
Yeah. Let's clamp that between. Uh, it's like at least a second, and no more than three seconds. And then we're adding on k seconds per tick just to make it definitely on the next tick. And we should set a breakpoint here to make sure that anim duration is what I was expecting it to be. Even though we've got the clamp here, it's nice to just confirm. So my scripts are my hammer spoon scripts have like these delays. Like it's got a built-in delay so that it waits long enough for Xcode to hopefully be ready. But because I'm streaming, it eats up so much CPU that um, the scripts tend to fail. That's why you saw it just outputting all that nonsense there. Let's make this a little more debuggable as well. And Loretta, did you get my letter? Okay, the sword's out. Sword's away. Using the flask. Let's check this get this delay. Jump into this clamp D function. Yeah, 1.7 seconds, that sounds just right. Cool. Alright, that's gonna work. It's got to work for sure. Yeah, cool. Nice. Automatically unsheathed. This one. Okay, let's do that again. This time without this whole Xcode slowing everything down. And uh, we'll test it both ways. Once with the sword out, and then again without the sword out. Nice. Oh, that's going to be so helpful. Battle. 
Okay, wouldn't you have me just see successes once more without the sword? That's it. It's easy. Cool. Nice. All right. That's done. Let's make that a new... More of a Nice. That right there could save some people from dying. This probably is probably would have saved me from dying a few times. Okay, this is a real simple one too, should be. After camp compass or map usage, re-equip whatever was your last item. for that button. Um, and I do this in phase drink, actually. After phase drink, maybe? where it restores the previous item This has a special case in that it doesn't do the sword. I was, I was thinking, gosh, this would be a nice thing to just... I guess this can be a function.
This should be called old item. Just to be super clear. So we'll need um, Xcode open again. Hello, what's up? Pace. What is this? This is a stream about making a video game called Songbringer. It's out now on Steam, PlayStation, and Xbox, and I'm currently working on an update for it with lots of new content. It's practically a free DLC. I mean, it is free, but it's practically an entire DLC's worth of content. It's like kind of like an expansion, kind of. Okay, so we'll set a breakpoint here to make sure this still works as it did. And I gotta go to the point where we can test this out. Which is like around 10, 5, 0 or so. We'll need the cup equipped. Oh, it was 10 
four zero. So close. Okay, so the cup, we'll equip that to that button there. And run this from Xcode. We'll hit this breakpoint, make sure this behaves as it did in the past. Oh, I need this equipped actually to well, actually, yeah, I can just do it this way first. Why is it recompiling? Ah, Xcode. This is why I use Xcode as little as possible. Slow. Uh, do you want to learn? Do you want to learn programming? Why do you say this? Okay, so I'm using, I've got it equipped to button C, which is the equivalent of the L, and um, it should re-equip whatever my last thing was. I'm going to here. Arduino, isn't that really complex stuff? That's C, right? Or is that assembly? Okay, restore equip item. We've got equip index four, that sounds right. Old item cup, not items. I'm not gonna be able to see into this for some reason. What is it that you want to uh, do then? Equip index A. Okay, so this is the right area. Let's check that. Right, that's dungeon five, cool. Okay, so we check if it's a valid equip index, it is. And then we're equipping button L, good. Um, we're getting the default item. Might as well check that. Don't feel good, okay. Default item, the old one was flask full. That's right, yes, okay. And if Contains not items item, we return false. It's neither of those, so we auto equip it and return true. Okay. Good, so it should have re equipped that to the flask. Good. And we have the sword unequipped. Okay, so um, I need to check it with the sword equipped this time. Amaretta. What? Oh, ten. It's uh, nine five. Okay, so yeah, we need this to be the sword button. Right. Okay. So now, what it's gonna try and do? Oh shoot! Did I? I don't think I ran that from Xcode. Basically, it's going to say, oh, your last item was the sword, and the sword was one of the not items, so it will not equip it. Because it can't equip the sword in those swordless dungeons. All right, man, happy breakfast.
should be button A. Good. And the last item was the sword. And it contains not item sword. Return false. All right, good. It works. So it won't re-equip anything in this case. All right, good. Okay, so I did all that so I can reuse that function. When we use up a compass or a map, So we'll start with using the compass. Okay, now we need um, a couple compasses. We'll start with compass zero, I guess. Compass zero, compass one. Got a lot of compasses here to use. Good. Okay, so we'll get that in the game and um, use a compass, see what happens. What's our last item that was equipped and all that? Probably will be the flask. Of the compass and what do we have equipped? The flask. Boom. But why is the cup F? Is that no, that was just a second ago? Let's set this up a little bit more deterministically. Boegus, what's up man? How you been? Thanks, man. How's everything going with you? It's 
but meditate this time. Save this. And we got meditate equipped, sweet. Nice. You woke up really early and saw me streaming right on. Everything's good. Glad to hear. Anything new with you? See that again, this time with the HUD. Oh sweet, you're in uni now. Nice. Do you have a a certain major in mind or a your your degree type chosen? Sweet, that works. Let's see it one more time. Maybe this time we'll do a different equip index or something. IT engineering? Sweet man. Nice. Are you, um, is this your first year then, I imagine? Are you like, where are you staying at? Are you staying in dorms or you got an apartment or is it in your hometown or how's that going? Sweet, this works really well. Let's see with some maps. Sweet, man, you got an apartment. One of the biggest cities in the country? Dang, man. How does that feel? Oh yeah, I bet it is a huge difference. If it's is this the first time you've ever lived in a big city? Gosh, I remember my first time I ever went to a big city. I'm from a small town as well. And man, the first time I ever saw a big city, I was just like I had to pick my jaw up off the ground. I was like, "What? Big tall buildings? These things are amazing." I still, I still like get amazed when I see big tall buildings. I'm like, wow. I guess that's what it's like growing up in a small town. Yeah, yeah, there's so much to do too, right? Okay, that worked. You kind of confuse it somehow. Amaretta, did you get my letter? Like if I equip here, the game's going great, man. Songbringer got released in September. It's out now on Steam for PC, Mac, Linux. It's also on GOG and Humble. And um, also PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. So it's been quite a, quite
quite a time, man. It was really stressful releasing it, but now that it's out, it's a lot. I've really recovered a lot, and I've learned a lot about how next time I don't want to be as stressed out when I release a game. <laughs> and um, sales are going okay. Not awesome, but not bad. So I'm really thankful for that. And um, life's good, man. Life's good. I've been through some crazy changes, but life's awesome. I, like, uh, I love where I'm at. I appreciate everything. Thank you, B the Sorcerer. Appreciate that. This is my first art project. Okay, so yeah, re-equip that. Fine, it's working. It's gonna be good. Okay, another one finished. Let's get that checked in. Get this item crossed off the list. So basically, I just created this function called restore equip item, which is just the exact same thing as how it restored the equip item for the cup when you go into the swordless dungeon. So let's just make sure that's like how it all was. Oh, nice, man. Yeah. Oh, cool. I'm glad you found that. Um, I highly recommend that. If anybody's watching this um, and you're a programmer that wants to learn some art or even become an artist as well as a programmer, um, I wrote a, not wrote, but like recorded a little video series called From Programmer to Artist. And it's um, just kind of goes over the basics of art. And um, I'll say, okay. Let me just say something here. Um, there's a huge, um, you know that saying like, okay, there's the left side of your brain and there's the right side of your brain. And the left side of your brain is the business, the analytical, the programming, the technical side of your brain, right? This is a common misconception. All right, I'm explaining a misconception here because recent research has come out to disprove all of this. Um, so the left side of your brain is apparently the technical side and the right side of your brain is apparently the art side and they are distinct sides, right? You can only use your left side at once or only use your right side at once. Your, your right side is the creative side, the artistic side, the, um, all that kind of stuff. Um, it's complete BS. This is completely inaccurate. All the latest neuroscience research is showing that to be creative, you actually use both halves of your brain um, and so there really is no switching back and forth between your left hemisphere and your right hemisphere you're not like dominant on one side or or, or the other you can be dominant in both and um, it takes both of them to be creative and programming itself is a creative task so what I'm saying here is that if you have a belief that says um, I'm a programmer or I'm a technical person so I can never be an artist that's complete BS um, your programming strength is actually a huge benefit to learning art and um, and it will in your technical side will actually help you to break down all of the elements of art and learn it very effectively so sorry about the rant there but I just wanted to get that out there because that was my biggest thing um, like before I I learned any art skills. I always had that belief that which was blocking me, stopping me from learning art because I thought, oh, I'll never be an artist because I'm just a programmer. But neuroscience has blown the lid off that one. And if you want to research it yourself, there's a lot of YouTube videos on it. Um, just there, oh, what was the name of that one? There's a couple different scientists neuroscientists that have researched that and they've done some YouTube videos. I think it was on Big Think or I forget, but yeah. Hopefully that helps somebody out there. It helped me a lot when I finally uh, crossed that threshold. Okay, so this function is just like that up there. It gets the button based on the equip index. This also checks the equip index. And then contain, if it contains the not items, it returns false. Otherwise, it equips it. That's all good. And then we're basically just using that when we use up a compass 
or use up a map item. So that looks fine. True. Yeah, yeah, of course. Of course people are comfortable being good at just one thing. And if you just want to be good at one thing, I'm not trying to force you into being good at two things. No, that's not at all what I'm saying. What I'm saying is like if if you have any desire to learn that second thing, don't let your belief stop you. That's all. Thanks, man. You too. Good night. Okay, let's get that checked in. Oh, let's also add it to the change log. Uh, what time is it here? It's probably about four. Yeah, it's four o'clock in the afternoon. I'm currently in Thailand, so that's why I'm at a, I'm in a different time zone than I used to be streaming in. I used to be on the west coast of the United States, um, but yeah, now I'm in a, in here in Thailand, so that's why it's the afternoon. And it's what it's morning for you. Yeah, you said you're talking about breakfast. It certainly is. It is an exotic place. It's jungly. It's uh, it's you know totally different culture than I'm used to. I love it. It's really refreshing, and it's super inexpensive. It's like really great to just you know be able to do kind of like anything, and not really have to worry about too much about how much it costs. Uh, but it's also, it's got its downsides. It's you know somewhat dirty. Um, there's very few regulations here, so like, you don't know whether when you go to a restaurant whether that restaurant has passed any sort of, you know, you know what I mean. Like in the United States, we have these letters like a, a restaurants get an A, a B, or a C. So you don't know whether you're gonna get food poisoning or whatever here. You just kind of have to like wing it, basically. Yeah, I'm staying here for about six months, um, and then I'll be headed back to the United States. So I'm just basically living here in Thailand. Um, sort of just like kind of like reinventing life at this point and um, it's been really good man really good I started lifting weights for the first time in like 10 years so I'm trying to like uh, trying to like live my potential in a way okay after using Scanner drones, re equip last item, previous item. Okay, there. Why not? Right? Why not? So how are classes for you, man? How, uh, how's that going? Most of them are boring. I hear you. You're probably in your first stuff, right? Like your first class in this topic and all that. Yeah, first two years of stuff. I hear you, man. You got anything interesting lined up? What's up, Wiseman? Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate that. Thank you for the congratulations. How are you? Okay, let's work on this next one. Connor 340. 
Is it Connor with the O? Yeah. Yeah. But do you, do you have like any like fun elective classes like basket weaving or swimming, or something like that? Anything you can look forward to that's not boring? It's challenging you somehow? So apparently there's a block here that's that's uh, blocking the way. Get Connor 340. Let's check this out. Oh yeah, right there. That's right. The edge of this pillar right here is gonna block that. Oh, go dot 3.0, sweet. <laughs> <laughs> right on, man. Okay, you can blink past it, but see, the, this is the issue here, like... Huh. Okay, maybe, um... pattern okay I think the best way to do this would be to put make sure there's some empty tiles surrounding the pillars nothing interesting yet oh yeah I hear you what about like extracurricular curricular activities stuff going on after after the the classes and the student tree is done. Student tree? Like parties and and gaming and stuff. So this is pattern refill. But it's filling in the bushes. Where does it do that fill in the edges of the bushes thing? I think it's like where it converts the walls maybe? See if that's what I'm thinking it is. Oh, you finished classes late, huh? Oh, there you go. Well, cool. Well, I'm excited for you in general, man. That's a. I like that time. I personally really enjoyed that time of life. That first time getting out on your own, you know? Maybe you know I'm, not, I'm assuming here I'm not I'm not sure if this is your first time getting out on your own but like for me it was the first time out on my own I loved being in college I was like wow I could do I could do whatever I want now sort of where is it lined? Line edges. There's a function for this. Oh, it is, this. There it is. Pattern connector. Oh, this is right before it does. Okay. Okay, so maybe pattern refill can do this. If we do a whole like. If we made this ridiculously taller, oops. Oh, okay. Ah, okay. So you're kind of like not quite on your own, but.
Hey, it works. I need to do just a rectangle of open path around these things. Because the circle isn't quite working. So I can go to this mode here, which shows me what tile I'm on. There's four, six, three, six, this is three, five. Okay, so we need to go from five, six, seven, eight, even, huh? Yeah, eight. this is this is even nine. Five to nine. And this is three all the way to six. Alright. Yeah, this is basically the DLC right here. This is not actually a DLC, it's just going to be a free update, but there is so much content in this. Hold on, let me just write down these numbers. Um, yeah, there's so much free content coming out in this big update I'm working on. Um, there's the charge sword attack. There's the parry sword ability. There's shirt armor. It's a whole different skin for rock where you have different armor. There's a different skin for uh, Vel where she has jewelry. Um, there's um, the Ring of Difficulty. It's called Eale's Snare. It's this item which gives every single one of the bosses new special attacks and makes all of the enemies more difficult, but it gives you an increased score at the end of the game. There's the Ferret Drones which help you find 100% items. And um, there's two new items you can craft. There's the hyper boots, which make you run even faster, and they drop all these lightning mines. Um, there is the flamethrower, uh, which is like an upgrade for the lighter, which like shoots out this jet of flames. Um, there's a new boss. There's this whole arena where you fight waves of enemies. There's a new ability called Battle Meditation. Dude, there's, there's a lot. There's a lot of new content. So it's been a lot of stuff to test, get right. And it's free. It's all free. Okay, so we're going to go and put that back to how it was. And then we're going to draw purposefully, oh yeah, this needs to be if area pause z equals zero. Blocks rect, a dot area pause, this is, oh yeah, this is going to have to be based on c. Um, so, 3 to 6 is 10 minus, this is c dot x minus 7, c dot x minus 3, c dot y minus 4, wait, 5, c dot y minus 1. And let's fill this up with something weird like pillars or something so we know that it's actually doing what it's supposed to be doing. Yeah, it's, well, I haven't been working as hard as I, I was during the game's release period. That's, I was working seven days a week, like 10 hours a day at least. Now I'm working a lot more um, with good pace. Now I have a much better pace a lot less stress in life. So it's taken me longer to get all of this new content finished. Like I've been working on it since September, right? So that's been, I've been working on this a while. Um, but yeah, but working on it with pace is just 
I don't know, it's not burning me out like it did before. So that's really good. I have to keep this up for life. You know what I mean? This is a, this is not something I, I can just do for, I can't ever do that again where I just ruined myself with stress. It's, um, it affected every area of my life and, you know, nearly, nearly broke me. So I do not recommend it to anyone. I mean, hell, if you want to go burn yourself out, go ahead. But I'm just saying, I burned myself out and I'll never do it again. Hey, what's up, XYE? You started your Twitch career? Good for you, man. Cool. Yeah, well, I hear you. My internet's my internet used to be like that when I lived in the United States. I had the worst upload speeds. Okay, so good. I'm glad I did some pillars there. It looks like we don't need all of those. Like at least we don't need the one to the. One below and one above and one to the right. So this can go to like four and this can go to four and this can go to two. Let's check that. <laughs> well, there you go. That's kind of a good point, yeah. You know, you... At least I know I'm living, right? But gosh, I got I got really familiar with what the heck cortisol is and like so many different hormones in the body that can go crazy whack from just having too much stress. Chronic stress leads to huge elevated cortisol levels which means that you don't have as high testosterone levels. You don't have as many human growth hormone levels and all the things that keep you sane. You can really mess yourself up, basically. Okay, so yeah, we'll do another one over on this side. This will be... Plus, we'll do another one in the top. We'll just guess what these are supposed to be at first. Like this should be maybe minus two. Wait, that's seven, seven, six, five, four. Right, so it's minus two plus two. No, that's gonna be five. Oh well. Um, and then C dot Y. Plus maybe two, I don't know. And plus four. Uh, man, that's. I don't know if that's gonna fix this one here. Oh, it's not. Okay, we do need to go one more to this, one more south. Both of these. And then this one looks like we're at least one too tall. Hmm. I hear you. I don't know. I've never tried that. I've never tried just doing VODs.
I found that even even with interactive live streams, it's a slow process. It's not like you just build view viewers quickly. It took it took like four months before of streaming like three to five times a week before I got um, a a good like consistent following. You know, it took a while for people to get to like you know catch word of my stream and tell other people people to just randomly stumble across my stream and all that kind of stuff. It just takes time to grow a following. It's not something that's going to happen quickly. There we go. That's even though it's one more to the south there, I think that's going to be necessary. Okay, let's give let's make sure we can walk all the way around all these by setting all these to none. We'll make sure the refill tile is after those. So it doesn't get erased. Wow, that's a lot. Yeah, that makes sense. Girls do have a slight advantage, but that's not it's not a huge advantage. You can still be a big streamer if you're a guy. So yeah, right? And and right, that's kind of how it goes. Like you you start at 0 and you get up into like the tens slowly and then you get up into like the hundreds. And then yeah, maybe at some point you have this like it's like a growth curve, right? It takes that that beginning is always going to be slow. <laughs> Right, Weissman? Those are advantages. But it's pros and cons, right? Right? Some people are following that streamer only because of those huge advantages. <laughs> Man. Good chat today. Yes, right. Yeah, that's, that's, what I, that's the point I'm trying to make here. The hardest part is going from like one to ten viewers. Yeah, see, there you go. Oh, good, good. Okay, so we can now walk all the way around. Oh, not there. It's like we need to go one more on the top, too. And over here, it looks like we can go on the left. That's good. Not on the top. Okay. That needs to be fixed. And this one, also not on the top. All right. So all of these need to be increased their height. That's one. That's one. That's four. There. Now we've got four rectangles of empty space around these three refill pillar pillars. Wow, lots of explosion recently, huh? What kind of games does Dr. Disrespect play? There, now we can walk all the way around here. That's good. And all the way around this one. Okay. Now we need to make sure that this is not breaking anything else. So we need to have 
all of the map positions Wow, that's huge. Oh, Fortnite, PUBG. Wait, what's what's Fortnite again? Oh, this is like, this reminds me of, um, like, Team Fortress or Overwatch. Is it kind of like that? What's PUBG again? I just, I don't play these kind of games. That's why I'm always like, what? Oh, Battlegrounds, right. Right, right. Hmm, right. Okay, I need to verify that this fix didn't break anything else. So I'm gonna go and look at, like, I should look to like, eight to 12 different refill areas to make sure these are all all good. I don't think anything's gonna be an issue because it already had a pretty much empty um, there was already a pretty big empty area in every one of these refills. But maybe I can find an example of something that might have broken. Okay, so cool. We walk all the way around these. Check that out. Oh, this is probably another one right here. Look at that. It's good to have that opened up now. Good. This one too. Got a nice open area around every one of these pillars. Okay. Um, let's make sure also um, for it. 99 on top of the world. This one's the same as it was, good. All right, let's go to a different world seed. Let's do, anybody want to give me a world seed? Nice, man. Let's do Buegas. Or Buega. Awesome. I'm excited you have a, a, a demographic in mind. Oh, Bo Vegas or Bi Vegas? Is it Bi Vegas or Bi Vegas? Am I even pronouncing Vegas right? Vegas like the city? Oh, Bi Vegas. Got it. Bi Vegas. 
Is that like, is that, um, is the W being like a V pronunciation? Is that from like uh, German or Austrian or something? Whoops. XYA, why did I not partner, partner with Twitch? Um, I declined it because I did not want to um, be subject to their rules about not uploading your videos to other services for 24 hours. So I have a, um, I, I really like to upload my videos to YouTube as well as doing these Twitch videos. And um, according to Twitch's rules, you can't upload to YouTube or any other video service 24 hours after your stream so and then and then I also thought that the uh, bits are kind of a joke <laughs> all right that world was fine let's do world seed bell that's like a common one I used to sort of Make sure all these are looking good. So far, this is fine. Every one of these, seem, it seems like this is going to be a, a good change to have. Basically, it's a bug fix, not a... Oh, wow, look at that. We were right on one of the other ones already. Cool. This is working out well. Yeah, and besides XYE, I don't really get enough followers or enough viewers to um, for it to really make a difference. You know, like uh, because I do game development versus actually streaming games themselves, I only get like a maximum like 30 viewers per stream, you know, something like that. And I've been streaming for four years now, well, three and a half or so. Um, I think I've maybe had like 50 or 60 viewers at once, but that's that's the tops it's ever, ever been. So um, it's way less viewers I get than you would playing video games. So it's not really like being a Twitch partner would really benefit me much anyway. Because the bits would just be so, um, so minuscule. Yeah, you were. That's right. There was, yeah, totally. There was a while there where I, we, there was like a few weeks in a row of like having 50 or 60 viewers at once and everybody was chatting. Everybody was always doing the, we were always playing games here on the chat and stuff. Like, we'll see how many, uh, <laughs> how many like emoticons we could get in a row. Okay, we'll do good old World Seed Wizard and call this good. Right, maybe it would have been a little more, but not not as not significant enough for it to be uh, like like it would be playing a video game. We're talking like video games. You get thousands of viewers you know, with a good stream, a healthy stream you've been building for a while, and like game development or creative, you're not, you're not getting that much viewership. But it's a different quality. It's a different quality viewer, you know what I mean? Like a, a game, a gamer viewer 
is going to be a different kind of person that watches a game development stream. So, you know, it's kind of a quality versus quantity thing. That's right, yeah. They were super late streams for you guys in Europe. I was always streaming at like 2 a.m. for you. And now it's morning for you. And it's like the middle of the night where I'm at, where I'm, where I'm from. Okay, this, I'm calling it good. Okay, area patterns. We got the pattern refill. Just puts some empty space around those three pillars, and let's call this a bug fix. That's a simple change. Okay, so this one, um, don't place enemies directly in front of the stairs, chance 622. Let's see if this issue is even still an issue. Some, this is a really old bug. I can't remember if I fixed this along the way or maybe accidentally fixed it along the way. <laughs> you never know. Gotta verify this is still even a thing. All right, man. Thank you. Cool. It was good chatting with you. Have a good day. The Vegas. Um, what's up with this? What, this is not the same area yet. Oops. Did I enter that right? Chance 622? It says that there's no stairs here. Maybe I entered, maybe I, I might have accidentally entered the wrong. Coordinates. Three, six, one, two, maybe this one. Already. 
I guess it's, it's either no longer an issue or it got fixed along the way. Okay, whatever. Wasn't too big of an issue at all. It's just that you would walk up these stairs in this one world and there would be enemies right there. Oh, I think I did actually change that. Yeah, I made it so you can't put enemies right in front of the stairs, I think. Okay, whatever. Closing that one. Okay, I need to take a quick little break. Okay, let's do a few more of these fixed ones here. 383, use LB, RB instead of LR icons. Let's get with the modern controller world, yo. I need a controller. Got one. Right, they just say LR. Uh. Yeah, that's one of those things too, it takes a while to build up. And um, yeah, you know, it, it depends on what you're posting too, whether people are going to follow you or whether they're going to, you're going to get an impression or whether you're going to get a like. It's kind of an art, it's kind of an art form actually, you know, building up a following on any, any social network. There's some science to it, but there's a lot of it's just art, sort of art. Oh, dang. You lost your Bluetooth thing? Okay, do I have LB, RB buttons drawn? For all the controllers. It's like, no.
These are all jam-packed in here. I think I do have them somewhere. Hmm. It doesn't, okay, what is the names of these? Man, this is not at all easy because none of my game is set up right now to distinguish between LT and, and LB. When it comes to the, the HUD and displaying what button is being pressed, the game distinguishes only the A, B, X, and Y buttons and the L and R buttons. It doesn't distinguish between the, the LB and the LT or the RB and the RT. So. This is way less easy than I thought it would be. Um, how would I even start doing that? Like, and every time it would show like the whatever button is being used, it would have to. How would it? No. Okay, I can at least add the icons. That's like step A. HUD button L, HUD button PSL, and HUD button Steam L.
Okay, those appear to be the buttons that are missing from this HUD sheet. So we'll go to the HUD. Now we need to make room for all these. I guess I could throw these big old buttons, keyboard buttons up here maybe. Okay.
Wait a minute, this is B. Son of a... Damn, we need to make this wider now.
So I'm just in the process of reorganizing this Photoshop document so I can have some more buttons. Uh, instead of just the L button and the R button, which was so nice and simple, we're going to add the LB, LT, RB, RT buttons. I'm starting to get hungry. Is it that time already? Okay, I mostly just don't want to do this.
All right, well, I'm almost finished here, but I got to get some dinner. I'm freaking starving. So I'm going to call it call it finished here for the stream today. Um, what I'm working on here in this, this last task is basically just making these LBLT buttons. Just so I have these available in case I do want to go through and actually do all the coding work to actually change all the buttons to be LB instead of L and R and all that. I'm not sure how to make the distinction just off the top of my head, but breaking it down into two separate steps of doing the artwork and then doing the code at least makes it into kind of baby steps, so I'm not as intimidated by doing it. So, um, yeah, thanks for watching. Appreciate y'all and catch you on the next stream.